I think Orthodox Christianity, uh, Orthodox Protestant Christianity, uh, tends to be uh, in in North America. It tends to be in the middle of the of the country, southern and midwestern. It tends to be for blue collar people. And it actually hasn't been very contextualized for the coasts. It hasn't been contextualized for, um, uh, it hasn't been contextualized for the people that live in cities. And so when I began to, in a sense, uh, contextualize it, just translate it, uh, an awful lot of people said, this is very unusual. And I think that's part of the appeal. When you talk to somebody, you always take into consideration some of their prejudices and, and worldview in order to uh, make what you're saying coherent. So you, you assume they know this and this and this, and yet they disagree here. So what you do is you build a bridge. Everybody does that. You say, I know you believe this and this and this, so do I. But if you believe that, then you might want to consider this. And that's just the normal way in which we reason with each other. And um, I very often find that folks from a different culture that want to bring Islam or Christianity or Judaism or even, in a way, secularism to a new culture don't know how to do that. And I've, uh, I'm from, you might say, this culture and therefore it came more naturally to me. I would like to communicate and therefore when I use a word I want to believe that every word has a kind of semantic range, right? And um, if I'm talking to somebody who uses the, the word over here uh, to mean, for example, uh, Republican, that's just not necessarily the way I would use the word evangelical. Evangelical doesn't necessarily mean uh, politically conservative or Republican, like it does in New York City. So that's the main reason. I mean, if you actually go back to Martin Luther, if you go back to the uh, Jonathan Edwards and the evangelical awakenings of the 18th century, I'm an evangelical. But the word has actually come to mean something else in New York City that uh, if people say, if I say to them, if I say to people in New York City, I'm an evangelical, they have a bunch of assumptions. And if they ask me 20 questions, when they're done, they'll say, you're not what I expected, which means I raised false expectations by using the word. That's the only reason I would stay away from the word in New York. You see, I actually think that, that Christian beliefs are true, and therefore I would want people, there's a place where, where C.S. Lewis, my patron saint, uh, says, don't believe Christianity because it's relevant, though it is. Don't believe in Christianity because a lot of smart people believe it, though many do. Don't believe in Christianity because it fulfills your needs, though it eventually will. Don't believe in Christianity because it's incredibly relevant to our cultural moment, though I, I actually believe it is. Believe in Christianity because it's true. And if you don't believe in Christianity because it's true, what will happen is, to some degree, it won't fulfill your needs. After all, Jesus believed in God and didn't have a very good life. I mean, he was tortured and killed. He says, you'll find that if you don't believe in Christianity because it's true, you'll be, have your faith rocked at some point because these other things are only partly right. It's partly relevant, it's partly fulfilling, but sometimes you'll be in situations when it, which it won't feel very fulfilling. And so the, I try to say, if you believe it's true, you'll need to know why you believe it's true, and then, then you'll believe it no matter what the circumstances. Mm -hmm.